Okay, welcome everyone uh, to this um, first uh, plenary session. Well, second, because we had the welcome earlier today. Um, it's a plenary session at the conference, uh, Teachers Research Online 2021. And what we have here are a lot of very hardworking, committed, voluntary uh, mentors of teacher research, or we, we can say facilitators, if we like, of teacher research. <clears throat> These are <clears throat> most of the um, 34 mentors who have groups of teachers presenting at the at this conference and that's how we've organized the conference we've organized the conference um, with uh, a, with groups who have been mentored by Elia did you okay uh, who have been mentored by <laughs> facilitated by a particular person and that particular person many of these particular people are here this is a kind of new identity, I think, in the field of English language teaching or of TESOL, which is a mentor of teacher research. It's an area that we've been developing together, uh, all of us, of how to mentor, how to facilitate teacher research, how to motivate teachers to, to do teacher research because we believe it's, it's valuable for them and useful for them mainly, and for their students, this is our main concern, I think, although we can think maybe it's also valuable for the field of TESOL, the field of ELT, uh, generally, that there should be teachers who are researching their practice and helping everybody understand better the issues which are facing teachers in the world. I think uh, from this morning, if you attended some of the sessions, you already can, we already, already can see how valuable it is to understand um, real issues, real problems, real um, questions that teachers have in their minds, and as it could be as a starting point for, for further work in this whole field of ELT and TESOL, I think I'm very positive about what we've seen this morning. Um, um, anyway, um, these are the hardworking, committed people who have brought their teachers to this conference. And I'd just like to say a personal, uh, from me and Asla uh, and uh, Zinning as organizers uh, with uh, TIFL Research Team, just personal thank you, big thank you to all the mentors who are here and those who aren't, because without you, without your taking responsibility for your group and communicating with your group, we couldn't have organized this conference. It would have been impossible to organize such a complicated uh, conference without you taking you taking on a lot of the the work and that's been so uh, helpful uh, and you've communicated with the organizers really really well because uh, we are we are trying to pioneer a new kind of a new kind of conference where we put the teachers at the center um, not experts but that means that relies on you also um, being at the center uh, with your groups and um, we couldn't have done this without you we, we have actually been meeting, um, most of us, uh, once a month, well, if you couldn't come every month, at least keeping in touch. We've been keeping in touch with each other since uh, May, or a little bit before May, to maybe hopefully hopefully inspire mentors to think, oh yeah, I could get a group together to, to present at this December conference. And the, the results of the process are, are before your eyes at, at this conference. So. Some of you have mentored, have been facilitating teacher research before. Some of you are new to facilitating teacher research, but have experience in teacher education. Some of you have been, are still teachers themselves who have done teacher research and then and have realized that you would like to support others to do it. Um, and some of you maybe haven't had that experience, but have come from a more academic background, perhaps, and but want to find out how to facilitate teachers to do research. So we all, we all have our different backgrounds and we all, obviously we're all from different parts of the world, but we've been discussing together every month, some of the issues that we are, we are facing. I'd like to start with that. I'm not going to talk for more. more. I'd like to um, ask mentors to, um, if, you, if you would like to say something, to raise your hand in, physically like I'm doing now or using the button. Just as, um, uh, let's see where, it, where the conversation takes us. I'm going to ask about um, um, some of the challenges of mentoring 
that you've faced. Um, and I'm also going to ask about some of the benefits that you have uh, had for yourselves as mentors. And maybe by the end, this might inspire others who are watching this live or watching the recording um, to get involved in facilitating teacher research. If, if we think it's a good thing, you know, maybe you, you are just exhausted by this whole experience and you can say that, let's, re, let's have an honest discussion. So let, let's start with some of the challenges, the difficulties you've faced. Um, Sampat, do you want to go first? Because, and then we'll have my minute, okay? Sampat, yeah, yes, yes. Uh, go ahead. Hello, hello all, uh, nice meeting you all on this platform. Uh, thank you, Richard, sir, uh, for giving me uh, this opportunity uh, to mentor the, um, my co-friends. Here, uh, Mr. Vinay, and me, Michael, Mamta, and Salome. So these are in group from Elta, Telangana, from India. Speak and, a bit louder, uh, Sampat, if you can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I feel great to have with you, and uh, I got this opportunity because of uh, Mr. Richards uh, and my dear friends who are here, and uh, those who are uh, as a teacher researcher. So earlier, uh, we have motivated many of the teachers, but a few, uh, it is a, a great kind of, it is a kind of challenge, I can say that uh, we have motivated and we have explained our experience, uh, being a teacher researchers, what we have done, what uh, experience we got. So first of all, uh, we have uh, experienced and all these experiences we have shared with our colleagues. And then some of them motivated, that got motivated and uh, so came forward earlier. So that was a big in number. Uh, later, so the number is decreased due to some other uh, issues. Uh, it is a COVID time, uh, still it is continuing, maybe partially it is there. Uh, the teachers are very much eager to do actually. So they got motivated and work very well uh, with the children. Actually, those who are attracted with this work are really a great teacher and also they are committed. So there is no uh, doubt about that, but they are attracted, but due to other uh, circumstances or other problems, they are not coming forward uh, properly, are not guided well, are in internally, uh, they feel uh, good, but practically it is sometimes uh, not possible for them. Uh, by that, uh, few teachers are uh, getting back. Uh, this is a kind of experience we got, and uh, due to some other issues, personal issues also, uh, ill health reasons or any connectivity issues or time problem, journey reasons. These are the challenges uh, we face, but uh, at last a group of teachers uh, we got and uh, they feel that. So uh, entry behavior is and exit behavior is uh, there and uh, they feel, those who are experiencing this work, uh, feel great that we got this opportunity, sir. We have transformed ourselves and we have changed ourselves and uh, we got to know that what to do in our classroom, many other strategies and other activities to be implemented in the classroom. And uh, what I as a teacher uh, learn from others, uh, these all things happen, sir. And this, this is a great experience for our friends. Uh, uh, it should be done uh, in every classroom. The research work is not is a formal one, maybe informal one. Uh, we have forced them sometimes, we have motivated them, they have. Uh, we have consoled them and also uh, we, uh, we, we tried a lot uh, so through WhatsApps and through meetings, through uh, so many calls. So by that, they came forward and at last, at last, a few of them uh, got this opportunity and they feel great to have this uh, work and uh, they have learned a lot. Uh, thank you, Richard and team. Thank you, Sampat. So, um... You're, you're involved in a, a quite a large kind of project in Telangana with the Teacher Association. And we've heard some of the present presenters from Telangana State in India uh, already this morning. Um, and uh, some has, has been mentoring one group, there are some other groups, and um, all in one big larger project, a voluntary, completely voluntary thing within a teacher association. Thanks, thanks, Sampat. Mayamin. First of all, I'd like to thank everyone for being a mentor, and uh, this is something new for me and my colleagues from Iraq, so we've learned a lot from you guys. Um, being a mentor is a very hard job, which I found out now, okay, because we all have our own responsibilities, we've all got all got jobs, and on top of that, we're looking after 
uh, vulnerable teachers. So uh, well done for us. We need a pat on the back and a big clap for us. Uh, the challenges, of course, while well, today I had my tutors with me today, and today they were talking about, um, they were listening to a lot of the uh, teachers and they started to panic and they were saying, oh, uh, Dr. Miami, we're not prepared. We haven't done the posters like the others. And I said to them, my dears, you, of course you haven't because you've just started. Iraqi teachers have just started in mentoring. They just started, it's just been for them a month only, thinking about their topic and thinking about questions. And they started to panic and they panicked me as well. I think, oh my God, do I have to go through this every time? They panic, we panic. Is that what it is mentoring is about? Then I started to calm them down and tell them, listen guys, here we're here to listen to each other. We're here to look at each other and see others' presentation. Then we're going to take the best out of all these research and then we're going to implement it in our schools. Iraq, as, uh, as, as it's just started the, uh, the mentoring, not only that, they just started school last month, literally last month, the 1st of November. And on top of that, the, the government, the Ministry of Education in Iraq, has asked the teachers to come six days. So they're teaching from Monday till Saturday. The only day that they have off is a Friday. So bless them. Today is their day off and they've come to present their presentations. So please do come and join us at five o'clock in Qatari time in room number one. And thank you for this space. Thank you very much, guys. Yes, thank you. Thank you, Maimon. And um, uh, yeah, in um, Qatar, based in Qatar, mentoring teachers in Iraq um, at a distance. And so that's just our, well, there are three different rooms after this panel, straight after this panel, and Maimon is in, is in one of them. Um, Anybody else like to say? I mean, we're talking about challenges and how you overcame challenges. Rivati, please. Uh, thank you, Richard, for the uh, opportunity, and thank you, Ashley. Uh, we actually, I would say that the first time I'm doing uh, online mentoring, so the e-mentoring has been very challenging for one uh, reason that I had to coordinate with the teachers online using too many tools at the same time and then training them as to uh, even to use the tool for that uh, matter and even uh, for say for example assessing um, the data I'm, I'm analyzing the data i had to uh, train them online so that was a very challenging experience i would say because uh, uh, i had to show them how to do the coding how to do arrive at the theme so using too many uh, uh, tools at the same time and then showing them as to how it could be done. So that was a challenging experience I had. Thank you so much. Thank you, Rivati. Thank you very much. And we can learn from what the issues are because others who are going to be mentoring will know to predict what they might be, but also how we how we overcome these challenges. And online, we're all, we're all doing it online. Uh, that's one challenge that we're trying to overcome. We're getting better at it. <laughs> I was mentoring, I was facilitating teachers in, in Nepal. I'm going to ask you, Gyanu, to speak now. And Gyanu was one of them. And one of the major issues uh, was uh, connectivity. So I was doing this at a distance. Gyanu, would you like to go ahead? Yeah, thank you so much, Richard. Thank you, everyone, uh, for giving me a chance. This is a golden opportunity for me. Um, I think uh, there are not lots of challenges, but it's still this is the pandemic situation. So the teachers are not uh, themselves uh, mentally free because uh, I have found that my mentors, uh, mentees, they are having problem in their family and themselves as well. Uh, we were just doing some exploratory questions. We are preparing and then we, I wanted to have a such meeting, but uh, due to uh, the problem of uh, this uh, COVID, um, my mentees was facing problem. This type of problem simply uh, I had got, but uh, other thing, if it is online, then I don't think that there will be a problem later on. Okay, though um, if there is no pandemic, then uh, everyone will be in good position and then 
due to this online mentoring, it will be very easy. We don't have to separate uh, very, you know, much time for visiting teachers. We can visit here. It is very easy, very uh, time. Uh, we cannot consume much here. Uh, whenever we want, we, we frequently chatted with each other. You know, it was very nice. We had a group and then whatever the questions came, uh, we had to put there and then we discussed there. So uh, I did not have to visit them and they did not come to visit me. So, you know, uh, I could um, have much time to discuss. So there is not much challenges in my case, uh, though there is sometime uh, this connectivity problem was there, but uh, not that is not the big thing. But uh, the, during this COVID, they themselves who are facing, uh, they were suffering from this, and then their families who I have faced problem. Uh, uh, if not, overall, everything was very nice, excellent, and thank you so much. Hello, thank you. So you're, you're highlighting one of the things that we've learned could be an advantage, advantage from the online experience in, in the situation of facilitating teacher research. I'm sure all of us are reflecting on what are some of the benefits that we have gained from the well, from what we have learned as teachers using online tools, if we can use those with students and also as teacher educators or as as mentors? There are advantages out there as well as um, as well as difficulties. Thanks, Kenny. Uh, we're still thinking about challenges and how you have overcome them in in the mentoring process, just to help others understand a little bit about what's involved in facilitating teacher research. Yes. Um, and Mariana would like to speak and then uh, Roger. Yes, thank you very much, Richard and Astley for giving me this opportunity. Um, well, I would like to um, say to everyone that I am from Argentina and that I have uh, taken part in two uh, projects which are uh, absolutely um, important uh, to me. Um, one of them has to do with um, a mentoring a group of Turkish teachers in the school context and a teacher trainer with my dear Sedentu Yan from uh, Turkey. And the other one, um, uh, helping co-mentoring and um, having a, a role of uh, an external mentor with my partner Ruben Massey from Argentina at the University of Buenos Aires. So um, as regards uh, challenges, Richard, I would like to tell you that as regards um, the second project in Argentina, um, I thought that one of our uh, our challenges would be um, time because uh, the teachers at university, uh, it is a multi-layered project. Uh, we worked with two teams, two teacher researchers, and then another team, which consists of uh, material designers and uh, teacher coordinators and a teacher researcher implementing a project in online classrooms at university. They are very, very busy, as you all know. And um, I thought, well, that would be, uh, that, that is going to be a big challenge. How did we overcome uh, time? That is to say, how busy our mentees are and were. Uh, well, uh, we implemented different tools like having Zoom meetings, uh, communicated or sending emails to them. Ruben also uh, communicated with them uh, via uh, WhatsApp. And um, we also um, uh, implemented a mentor's journal. And we uh, um, uh, let them uh, participate uh, in that journal by reading all our conversations. My role was external uh, in the sense that I was an external mentor and I also co-mentored with Ruben. And Ruben is part of the staff at the university, so he was um, an internal mentor. So through that journal, mentor's journal, um, our mentees could see 
the dialogues, our doubts, our reflections. Yes, um, and, and I think that was very important. Implementing those tools help us to be communicated and uh, to be in touch with our mentees all the time. And as regards uh, the second project with Sedento Jan, I would like to say that one of the challenges during the process, because our project consists of two stages, stage one and stage two. And well, when working during the first stage and also during the second, but um, especially during the first, we realized that uh, we, uh, we uh, guided, we tried to help our mentees reflect. But in some cases, the reflections were not very deep. They were like more like descriptions. So during our weekly meetings with Zeten, we thought and we thought about how to overcome this challenge and we changed our templates, our reflection templates. We, um, we, we tried to uh, think about how to guide them. Yes, through uh, and implemented three different um, reflection templates, and we could overcome that challenge. Um, I am I am much. so happy about that. Thank Thanks you very much, much Richard. That's great. Uh, I mean, I think we are we are all developing new ways of doing things, and the way the way that you you shared your reflections about the mentoring process with the teachers was modeling a kind of research approach to this kind of reflective approach to the teachers and uh, at the same time it sounds like a really interesting way for teachers to understand how you are mentoring therefore may help them in the future to be facilitators themselves roger over to you and let's keep it very brief as if possible we've got lots of uh, people who want to talk good evening richard and uh, all the teammates over here uh, it's very nice to see you all here and i'm very glad to be a part of this and I would like to, when I come to the challenges, before I talk about the challenges, I would like to thank our uh, super mentor, Mr. Vinayadhar Raju Pratikantam, sir, and all the ELTA body members. Actually, I got into this action research and also the mentoring experience because of our ELTA. So I really thank on this platform to the, all the ELTA uh, executive body members who made us to be a part of this program. In, in and regarding, yeah. yeah, yes, sir, Telangana, sir, ELTA Telangana, thank you. And uh, regarding the mentoring experience, actually, through this ELTA platform, I got uh, the mentoring enhancement mentoring project and then connecting classrooms. And then I have come to this action research mentoring project, wherein I have got an experience of mentoring seven teacher researchers. And uh, regarding the challenges, sir, actually, before we come to the challenges, we made us, uh, uh, we experienced the challenges in different frames. The first one is the first stage of uh, forming the exploratory questions. Actually, it's a selection of teacher researchers. The, actually, we went on with the Google form, and as we are a part of the teacher trainer groups, we got many teachers who are interested to be a part of this action research. But the first challenge was, though they were for experience, they were saying whether we would be able to do, what kind of problems could we select? That means the selection of the research problem was once again, how can we state the problem? And in what way the exploratory questions are different from the main research problem? So the first area was the problem and planning stage. Then what we did is we went down with the frequent as usual as all the teachers are share the mentors are sharing here. We went down with frequent meetings and we really uh, are really thankful for our uh, super mentors and also Mr. Richards. Actually, we went down with the our uh, Elta Telangana has organized the webinars based upon the handbook prepared by Richards on mentoring experience, sir. It has been very, very useful to us. So all the mentors, we took up different uh, topics of your work and all the teachers have become comfortable. Then the second thing we did is we went up, sir. Thank you, Roger. Let's move Thank on. You. Sorry to stop you. Thank Thanks. you very much. Let's move on to um, uh, who's next? Next person. I'm trying to remember. I, I told you, didn't I? Uh, Beryl, Beryl, please. Yes, I think I am the next person. Okay, I'd like to take this opportunity to thank Richard and us for organizing this event and this project. It is really uh, very, uh, you know, honoring for us uh, to be uh, part of this. Uh, well, I will keep it brief. I know we have the time limit. Uh, it was uh, an overall, uh, overall, it was a very satisfactory and, you know, a very um, 
nice experience for us, um, for uh, both me and my mentees, uh, despite certain challenges and difficulties, as you mentioned. Uh, the first challenge that we had was, in fact, the time. Uh, because, uh, you know, um, the, uh, all our schedules were very hectic. I mean, we all had very, very busy schedules. And also uh, the problem was that, you know, um, we started face-to-face -face education, but the teachers were also very busy covering uh, some of the uh, parts that uh, were missing in the program, uh, covering uh, the, you know, the outcomes, the objectives, uh, that were not uh, maybe previously met properly uh, during the distance education. So this was one of the uh, big uh, challenge for us. Uh, the second thing was the uncertainties. You know, uh, at certain times we didn't know what, what was coming next. So uh, this made us uh, a little bit worried. Uh, but I should say that I was lucky uh, because I worked with a group of uh, experienced teachers who volunteered to take part in this project. So uh, that was one of the benefits I had, one of the advantages I had. And also, uh, you know, we try to keep the track, um, uh, I mean, all the time. So we didn't, uh, I mean, we didn't let um, the things, you know, get into our ways and, you know, we just kept uh, on the same direction. Uh, having regular meetings and, you know, regular messages, emails, you know, just updating each other. Uh, so this helps us uh, to, uh, you know, focus on our area, on our issue and, you know, find solutions. Uh, but, uh, I mean, as I said, uh, the, the time and, uh, you know, uncertainties were the uh, biggest challenges. Mm -hmm. uh, but we also learned that, you know, we need to take uh, this, um, into consideration. I mean, change the um, you know difficulties into opportunities. And now, in fact, we're planning to extend this project a little bit more, and uh, we will uh, try it with a uh, more number of teachers in our institution. So we are planning to extend the you know project and uh, keep on like that. That's good to hear. Thank yeah. you very much, Farrell. Thank you, uh, Elia. Oh, sorry, Vinaya. Vinaya next. Yeah, yeah. Uh, good evening, all of you. So, as uh, Richard and all other mentioned, that we not only mentored the teachers, we also mentored the mentors. So, the one, one biggest challenge is that so we have mentored the large group. So, they are at the different levels. If you put them in the professional development line from one to 10, some teachers are at nine, some teachers are at five, some of them are four, three, like that. So, this causes a big issue. Even they leave the project and some of join the new one and they change with the group, all these things happens. The solution for this is accept them as it is. Don't judge them. So some will start the, their research project with vocabulary only. Some will start with the uh, reading at basic level, sounds and other things also. Accept them because it's a journey. We need not, we not, not ask them to move from one to 10 at a time. It's not a long jump. So this is the best solution that we offer for them. So we are a big part. Thank you. Thank you very much, Vinaya. And, and Vinaya is sort of taking a lead, lead role in the in the uh, Telangana project. Um, and Beryl, I, I should have said, was involved with teachers in Turkey in particular. Uh, Elia, sorry, it was you. It was you next, actually. Go ahead, Elia. Hello, that's all right. Pakistan, Uzbekistan. Yeah, hello. Um, my name is Elanora. I'm from Uzbekistan. It's nice to see you all. Thank you so much, Richard and others that you organized at this wonderful conference uh, where we are all sharing our experience and learning from each other. So yeah, and we have also introduced exploratory action research scheme um, in our uh, country as well. So yeah, and we started a new project which is the Network for Teacher Researchers of Uzbekistan. So this is a, something new and we have like trained so far I think 18 teacher researchers. So they are still on their journey. So some of them are still doing their work. So as for the challenges, um, because this is a network and we are open to everyone from different contexts, it can be university, it can be school, it can be Lyceum. 
So as a mentor, what I have experienced is to work with the people from different contexts. So that means they come up with the idea, they come up with the topic and they are trying to explore. And the context could be very different because like I used to teach only at universities and some of the teachers are actually from schools. So, and it's actually very interesting for to understand, you know, like to understand the context better. So I think it could be one of the challenges and one of the benefits Benefit. as well, because yeah, you are exploring um, different contexts. Well, that, thanks, Alia. And as Uzbekistan, and we're looking forward to seeing how that how that develops um, very much. And some very interesting comments in the chat as well, if you were to look at everybody. You, you've started to talk about benefits and for you as a, as, a, as a mentor, understanding teachers' real problems. Well, Nala, let's move to you. And maybe you want to talk about challenges. Let's also start all of us to, as we come to a close, thinking about benefits for you as mentors so that we, so that others maybe see that there is benefit for you as a mentor. Nala. Oh, thank you, uh, Richard, and uh, thank you, Ashley, for uh, organizing uh, this event. Um, your uh, teacher research uh, support programs have really moved my mentoring to a whole new level. Uh, your book, your uh, your sessions, they really, really helped me organize my course in a way that is very, very practical for my students. And uh, my students, as I said earlier in the sessions, they're only BA, BA students. So they're right at the beginning of this experience. It's, it's basically their first experience experience doing research in the field of education. This is in and Arab, Arab college in Haifa, isn't it? In Israel. Yes. Yeah. That's Israel in uh, Haifa. Yeah. And uh, basically mentoring them was not easy, but it was really made great because of the ideas uh, that I gained from our group meetings uh, with Richard. Um, and at the time, I mentored my teachers online, and I thought it was a really, really good experience. Uh, and I needed to also find ways uh, to still serve as a facilitator, not a lecturer, because I don't generally like lecturing. So I used a lot of breakout rooms, and uh, we put teachers in groups to do collaborative work. So an example uh, was data analysis, where they worked on data analysis in groups in breakout rooms before before they actually did the real uh, analysis of the data. Um, I do want to discuss a lot of uh, challenges, but it was basically um, about sustaining motivation mm. and um, and finding initial ideas for research. And I thought we always, um, or I needed to always follow up and ask them where, what have you done? What, what did you complete and so on. So, but it's always about uh, following up uh, with what they're doing. So all in all, I feel this is a very, very positive experience for me. Yeah. And my uh, mentees have given really great feedback about this conference and all your questions uh, throughout their sessions really motivated them to think now about research they're going to be doing in the future. And I can see many people writing on the chat box, how can I do this? Can I just start? And my answer to all of you is yes, start, because you have here a community of practice which will help you and you'll get support. And I think all you need to do is contact Richard Astley, one of the uh, mentors, and I, I think we'd all be happy to help. Thank you very right. much. Uh, Nala, thank you for your words there. Uh, you're right that and I saw the same question. Uh, it, do you need a special qualification to be a mentor? Well, we haven't invented the, this qualification yet. <laughs> maybe we will, maybe we will in the future because uh, it's quite a, you have you have developed valuable experience for all of you here, um, which should be recognized. Uh, but we recognize it among ourselves and, you're, and I know that your teachers recognize it. No, you don't. There is no qualification. We are we are learning how to do it as we do it, and we've been talking about it together. Um, and but um, so that this this all began. This kind of mentoring initiative began with Sedan and I um, giving an Evo uh, Electronic Village online uh, in 2020, January to February, and we are going to do that again. We're going to invite all of the mentors here 
to take part in as well. It's building a community, but at the same time, it is helping one another, helping new mentors as well, especially maybe to, to get involved. So if you are thinking, oh, I'd quite like to maybe mentor other teachers, maybe you're, you're a teacher who's been doing teacher research and you think, oh, I'd like, to, I'd like other teachers to know about this, you're very, very welcome to join us. And everybody is at a different, um, different level of experience. We can all learn from each other. So you could click on that link. There's also a Facebook group that you could join called Mentoring Teacher Research. Um, we're talking, we're ending with some positives, positive aspects, uh, what, how you have learned from this. So Bahia, over to you and then Rivati. Okay, first I'd like to thank you, Richard and Ashley and everyone for giving us this a chance to be part of the conference. Um, I'd like uh, to highlight the, the, the benefit of co-mentoring for me. So it was actually a new experience uh, uh, for me as, as a mentor, mentoring those teachers in a different way of conducting uh, re research. And I was doing actually that with another mentor from Oman, uh, which is here. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> and uh, really the, the experience, you know, whenever I have questions, in addition to the meetings, attending to the meetings with you and hearing everyone, it's always good to hear from a mentor who is in very close area of and has similar situations of mentoring teachers and that was really great and what we've decided to do was most of our meetings were all together with the teachers the group meetings we felt that it would be great since she has five teachers and i have four, four teachers we were doing some uh, meetings together with the teachers and the teachers listening to uh, each other uh, experience and the progress was really you know useful to, to everyone we were also reflecting together so the co-mentoring experience was really great uh, were really great to me that's, that's working uh, with another another person to to mentors mentor teachers we're co-mentoring Bahia, yeah. thank you so much for your comment. You. I think we only have time really for Ravati next and tell me very briefly, please, Ravati. Thank you, Richard. Uh, personally, I must say that uh, this mentoring process has helped me to learn about the areas of research that people have undertaken because uh, I'm very passionate about doing research and this has really given me an opportunity to learn how research is going on in every other country and how people have uh, been doing. Mm. So that is one of the benefits. The, personally, the other benefit is I was able to uh, mentor uh, one of the teacher researchers who has never attempted research earlier. So this online mentoring has helped him to do research and he's quite happy about it. Okay. So, so that is the personal uh, benefit of uh, doing an online mentoring. Thank you, thank you Richard, thank you. for giving thank me this opportunity. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Good evening, everyone. A bit louder, please. Hello. Yeah. hello, sir. And uh, hello, Ashley. And good evening, everyone. Um, this uh, talking about my mentoring experience, uh, I, I would say that there have been many, many challenges. It's, uh, I wouldn't say it is uh, extremely satisfactory as I expected because of uh, several issues, as many of you have already mentioned them. I also faced uh, all those challenges, uh, but I would like to talk about the benefit here, which is uh, uh, the, uh, two benefits that is this entire journey of mentoring has made me more self-reflective. Uh, I was able to think more about uh, how to motivate the teachers and how to keep them on track. So I was coming up with new ideas and uh, I was uh, reflecting on my own strengths and weaknesses and I was reflecting on what where I went wrong or whether I was able to motivate them better or not and what else should I need to do uh, to motive, keep them motivated. So this uh, this kind of uh, self-reflection was going on. And uh, uh, I used to discuss with my uh, fellow mentors like Neela Madhavi, ma'am, uh, Vinay Adar, sir. So there was a, um, a mini community of practice here going on. And we used to talk to one another, motivate one another. Uh, and uh, we used to carry on our uh, 
activities in mentoring okay. so okay. it was a great yeah. learning experience as a teacher okay. also i i grew and one more thing which i want to mention here uh, is sorry no time <laughs> could, yeah. you write it, could you write it in the chat that would be very good. Yeah, thing. yeah. Definitely. Everybody, I'm sorry thank we, couldn't, you. we couldn't have everybody. Share, thank you, Salome. We couldn't have everybody um, sharing, but please write in the chat if there's something that you, you really want to say. That you'd yes, like to thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Salome. But if I need to just final final word from you, very briefly. Thank you so much, Richard, uh, and the entire team for bringing us, for bringing all of us together and giving us this excellent CPD opportunity. I think co-mentoring uh, was both a challenge and an opportunity for me as a mentor, you know, because I got to work uh, with Anna, you know, and uh, she's from Spain. Uh, well, some of the benefits were that uh, since we worked as a team and in collaboration, so we could co-plan meetings. And uh, we also had constant channels of communication, maybe WhatsApp. And we also use some of the collaborative tools, you know, to, uh, you know, enhance the level of communication, even among, you know, our teacher researchers, for instance, Google Doc. And uh, I think co-mentoring also gave us uh, that went, you know, to uh, learn uh, different perspectives, you know, when it comes to mentoring, you know, from each other, because we learned about a new context. And there was also some personal and professional learnings, you know, from a co-mentor. And I think watching teachers experience and how they ended up supporting one another, you know, was, uh, you know, the key highlight, you know, of our uh, experience. Thank you. Thank you so much. Well, um, thanks, Vanita. Thanks all of you, all of you who spoke today, all of you who couldn't speak today. Uh, all of you uh, have done such a good job and uh, are so committed on a voluntary voluntary basis to your to your teachers, just as your teachers are obviously very very committed to to their students. And um, we can uh, we can learn from interacting with each other, just as teachers can learn and uh, just as students can learn. And uh, we, we, this this has shown that at least, and I, I hope it has given inspiration to to others to join us and uh, we will carry on as a community and the community I think will will expand um, and uh, we're, we're going to be learning from each other starting in January February well starting now but also January February and continuing into the into the future with the Evo and who knows maybe we'll have this conference again uh, next year it seems to be going quite well so far I, I don't know if you agree uh, and it's uh, something we'd like may, like may like to repeat every year who knows Okay, let's um, next presentations will begin in um, in uh, oh we've got one minute no we've we're four minutes over time so they'll they'll be starting in about uh, what uh, how long tell me Asla when are the next presentations well uh, the next uh, presentations uh, will be in like five minutes oh dear. Uh, so okay. today is like a long marathon <laughs> yeah. yeah let's go then uh, yeah let's go yeah thanks everyone. <laughs> See you soon. See you, see bye you bye. in the conference. See you bye soon. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye.